Welcome to part 11 of the DA50RG aircraft design using Katia V5. We're going to add some details to the tail fin. We are adding a stiffener right here and another revolute right here. So we left off here, which is where our new elements are still going. And you're going to show the root curve. Remember, we added a connect curve. So you show the join curve, the one that was at the root, the one we used to create the multi section surfaces and also the extremum point that we created and you're going to insert another access system using this extremum point as the origin select ok and we're going to scale up the curve using this access system so go to operation and you're going to select affinity The element is the join curve. The origin is the extremum. The XY plane, you can select the XY plane of this axis system. So we're going to just rotate and select this XY plane. You can also select the X axis. Now, the X value is going to be 1.1. Y is going to remain at 1 and Z is going to be 1.6. Preview. So we need it to be a little bit bigger than the horizontal stabilizer and also popping out in the X axis. Hide the initial element and select OK. Now for you to use the revolute uh, command you cannot use the revolute command with a closed off profile so we're going to split this go to operation select split we are selecting this affinity curve using the xy plane but not the original xy plane but from this access system that we just created and then select ok and now we can use this half curve to create the revolute. So you just go to surfaces. And select revolve. This is our profile, the split curve. The revolution axis is the X component. And the dimensions is 360. And select OK. We can now hide this axis system. Hide axis system 4. And also hide the extremum point. And we can add material to this revolute. Just select it. Oh, let me hide the curve as well. Just select it. Go to materials and give it the same painting like the rest. So it looks like so. It's not usually uh, totally connecting here, but it should be touching the vertical stabilizer, just connecting part of it. Okay, save your work. Now we're going to add the stiffener. Uh, in part design, there is actually an option to add a stiffener, but because we are working with surfaces, we're going to create a, a sketch here and another profile here, and we're going to sweep that sketch. So let's go to side view. And we need our sketch to be about from this point. So the plane is going to be about this point. Select plane. The reference is the YZ plane. We are selecting offset from plane. And right about this point. 
okay so that if you if you project a straight line it's going to cut it off at about this point right here and select ok let's hide these elements because they are quite large we can hide the nose and the fuselage and the wing okay select the plane and sketch and you're just going to estimate where you want this uh, sketch to go up to i'm going to start by creating a line Uh, let's say from this point and drop it down let's make it straight so make sure it's blue to about this point and then select spline and complete it off up to about this point I need this to be more curvy like so okay now you can rotate to see where your geometry is going up to for example this one we need it up then you can go back to normal view and adjust all right we can select both like that let's select both and right here you can mirror it using this vertical axis and then we're going to add a small corner between these two splines so we don't have a sharp edge okay oops sorry okay exit the workbench you can always come back and alter it later so don't pay much attention as long as it looks similar to what i've done just leave it and now we're going to sketch the guide curve we can sketch the x now we can sketch the zx plane so select zx plane let's show it select zx plane and sketch and it's kind of starting from this point around this point and then just goes up to this point so select spline make sure where you're selecting is uh, from inside the geometry so that uh, we can be able to trim later on so i'm going to select here Okay, and then we can make adjustments. Okay, this one can work. We can try this one and adjust later on. I'm just going to pull it a little bit more. Like so. And exit the workbench. Now we can sweep this profile using this guide curve. Go to surfaces and select sweep. And the type is with reference surface. The first profile 
is going to be the first sketch we created and the guide curve is going to be this sketch we're going to leave everything else at default and preview so there it is and select ok now you can adjust if you want it to go a little bit upwards or a little bit downwards you can adjust from this point you can adjust your guide curve you can adjust uh, your original curve if you want it to be a little bit thicker or thinner you can adjust now all you have to do is double click on the sketch and any adjustments that you make are going to reflect right here okay i'm going to leave it just as it is and i'm going to choose hide all sketches then we're going to split the new surface using this join preview as you can see we have two surfaces being created here but we only need one so we're going to need to specify that i can use a point or any reference image to choose which one is going to remain so i'm going to select ok and only choose keep only one sub element using a near or far i'm going to select select ok and we can select this edge so you can see the highlighted one is the one that's going to remain preview and select ok now remember we cannot join these two surfaces because this one is closed off so again we're going to split the tail using this split select ok and now we can join the two join near one with split whatever number it is that you are at preview as long as you can see the only opening is at this point select ok and we can assign a material to that right now it looks like so but I, I i do want this part to remain in the in the other section not at the horizontal stabilizer section in case uh, i'm grouping the parts thereafter so this part is in the vertical stabilizer here so all you have to do is highlight the parts which you want to transfer i'm going to start with the plane and these two sketches and all the surfaces i've created then right click go to selected objects change geometrical set and the destination is the vertical stabilizer last position and select ok and now you can see that uh, if you select horizontal stabilizer it's only selecting the top part together with the revolute and if you go to the vertical stabilizer now it's selecting the new element together with the initial element that we had created so all these new elements were transferred there okay and that's our video for today so our aircraft is almost complete now we have completed the surfaces because we are not going to be creating the as i said before we are not going to be creating the landing gear we only created the housing and we are assuming it is enclosed in the housing because if we are running our simulations or our analysis test then it's going to be in flight mode where the landing gears have already been retracted and are enclosed in the housing so we're going to leave it as per, as, as it is and in the next episode we are going to, i'm going to show you how to create the propeller uh, i'm not going to go into details of how uh, i do that we're gonna need a, a third party so i need you to get a program let me look where it is it's called java prop so if you google java prop and 
depending on which computer you're using, you're going to see some instructions of which one you need to install. So this is Java prop right here. And it's a very simple program. And it's the one that we are going to create to generate the lofts that we are going to import into CAT here. As you can see, we have the propeller, uh, some details of the aircraft that we are going to insert, generate some lofts and those lofts are going to be imported in Katia and then we are going to adjust them from there. So you, you're going to have to search for Java prop and get the necessary files that you need uh, depending on which machine you're using. And I'll see you in the next episode. We're just going to do the simple part. I'm not going to go into details of how we, we, we get into propeller design. We're just going to do the surface design. And after that, all we need to do is to customize our model now, add some windows, different materials, talk about the integration of this cut part into other softwares like let's say Substance 3D or if you want to use another rendering software. So I'm going to get into that as well. And at the end of this, there will be a detailed project of how we did the reverse design, how we came up with the measurements and all that. And that's going to be specifically for aeronautical students but it's also very useful for mechanical students in the automobile industry where you want to reverse design the a, a particular where you want to reverse design a particular car or f1 car for that matter and you're doing fluid analysis all right okay thank you for watching so far don't forget to like and subscribe turn on your notifications so you know when i post the next episode and see ya